I wanted to share a motion graph uh, maker that's really useful for students practicing motion graphs or for teachers to make motion graphs. The current version should always be at mrhosey.com slash desmo78. When it first loads, what you're going to find is it's pretty busy looking. The most important thing is that if you click on either the X or Y axis, almost everything disappears. But if you want to edit it, click on one of the axes. Now, the green graph here is the velocity graph. What you do is you drag these handles, and that will change the velocity time graph. You can choose between the other axis of being position, velocity, or acceleration. Same on the first axis. That's good enough for most students to practice with, but if you want to actually use this to generate additional uh, graphs, like for quizzes, practice, etc., there's a lot of things that you can change about this. You can drag these corners and change how much of the graph is shown. Uh, you can change the colors of the graphs. You can change between um, solid, dashed, and dotted graphs. You can change the font size of the axes. You can change the line thickness of the lines. You can move the axes titles around. You can move the um, axes themselves left to right, the labels. If you go to position time graph, you can change the initial position of that graph. Additionally, there are some other things you can change. Um, for example, if you want to have the same shape of graph but with different numbers, you can change the full scale of the position graph, sort of like that. Um, same thing for the velocity. You can change the velocity scale. So it'll be the same exact shape of graph but different numbers. You can change the number of tick marks here both for the um, vertical axes and for the time axes. Of course, you can change the time represented by the full scale. You can change the thickness of the grid like this. You can change whether it is dashed or dotted. You can change the opacity. Now, sometimes for the time axis, the numbers can be hard to read. So you can shift those numbers up or down. You can rotate them sideways. Um, you can change the axis thickness and you can change the font size. Now this title, you can also turn that on and off or make the title say whatever you want in uh, what's currently line two where it says motion graphs, you can make that whatever title you want. And if you don't want that, just un uncheck it. Again, what you'll want to do is click on the X or Y axis like this. Now, let's say you want to print this. The easiest, well, there's two things to do. One, you could use the Snip tool, which is built into Windows or similar screenshot. Uh, but Desmos, when you go to Share, gives you the option to export image. And the one that usually I would like would be the uh, medium rectangle or the large rectangle. Um, and I would like to make that maybe medium. So I think medium rectangle is what I'd like. But when you go to large rectangle, or is it thick? Sometimes it'll give you the option, oh, it does, to download the SVG, which is pretty nice because that's uh, scalable. So when you click that, and I open this, you'll get something that's really nice for pasting into for example, uh, Word. Now it's kind of thick, but you can you can tweak the settings. Uh, so again, probably the most useful feature is when you click on the X or Y axis, and then you can just drag these VT lines, and they will uh, they will move accordingly. So for example, you can see constant velocity here on a VT graph is a horizontal line, but on a DT graph is a constant straight slope. Here where it's curving down, you can tell it's a negative acceleration from the uh, DT graph or position time graph. You can tell it's got a negative acceleration from the slope here. And let's say I wanted to toggle to acceleration, you would also see that, uh, see that there. So I'm hoping that this is useful to uh, someone. I know for my students, um, I think it's gonna be a useful tool for, for studying.
So uh, if you have any questions, let me uh, know. There is a way to change the colors to add more. If you really want, just let me know. But I'm probably already overwhelming most people. So I'm going to stop here.